Welcome to, welcome, welcome to, welcome, welcome to the Joe Mama Channel. This is the Joe Mama Show. Wow. Joe Mama's here. <laughs> So now I'm going to start on Yasa's eyebrows and as you can see I'm just brushing them up, you know, trying to get them into a shape and now I'm going to fill them in. Yasa is my girl and we play entirely too much so if y'all see some craziness in this video just know um, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to give Yasa more of an arch to her eyebrows because her eyebrows don't really have a natural arch so I'm just trying to give them a little arch and just like define them and make them a little bit longer. Now here I'm taking the LA Girl Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze and I'm shaping her eyebrows in a more defined arch look, elongated look. I'm putting some concealer on her eyes so that I can get her eyes ready for the cut crease style that I'm about to do on her eyes. Young Tarzan. So now starting on her eyes, I start with the crease of her eye and add this auburn reddish color to it before I add anything to the eyelid. Yo, this girl plays so much. Like, why you duck it? Why you ducking from the damn <laughs> brush? But now I'm gonna add again the LA Girl concealer, and I told her to keep her eyes open so that I can shape her eyelid while it's open, so I know exactly where to curve and where I'm going to place the glitter and eyeshadow on. This wasn't necessary, but I added that white color to her eyelid before adding the NYX eyeshadow and shimmery eyeshadow to her eye, which I will apply right now.
I'm honestly not sure where Yasa got this shimmery color from. She didn't know either. So I applied it because it was really pigmented and it was really cute. And I would love to know where it came from. But, you know, it's whatever. And this really saved the look, I feel like. And this is the reason why I said it saved the look because I didn't have any kind of glitter primer or glitter glue to apply the glitter that I'm adding right now. I had to use the LA Girl Concealer and I put it on top of the shimmeriness that I've already applied and I was sticking the glitter onto the, <laughs> the concealer. So I had to go back in after I put the glitter with the shimmeriness and... So to clarify, I'm only adding this back on top of the glitter because there were some parts so you can still see the brown concealer next to the glitter. So I wanted to mask that by adding the shimmeriness back to it. Now I'm just making sure that the eye look is fresh and I'm going back in with the auburn reddish color and going over the parts where I may have got some glitter on it. From applying the glitter, a lot of the glitter was coming off, as you can see it's all over her face, and some of it got into her eyelashes, so I'll, now I'm just cleaning it off and cleaning off her face from all the glitter. And now here's for my favorite part, it's the eyeliner, oh no, oh no, but it's the eyeliner, and yeah, she's gonna get a nice little dramatic eyeliner. I'm not perfect at this, but you know, I do what I do. When I tell you this was one of the most difficult part of the night, one of them, because this girl so sensitive when it came to her bottom eye but you know we survived this took a good like 10 minutes to do and the i forget about the mascara she had to do it herself because came to a point where she was just scared and ain't nobody got time for that yasa lashes. go get your lashes y'all go get it. Go dropping may 25th may 25th may 25th hey 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 they drop it they drop it put them on your eyelash drop it put it on your eye they drop it so excited! Oh. So cute. Yeah. Yes, my eyelashes are finally dropping. Go this collection. Go cop yours. And here I'm applying them onto her eyes now. And I will do a separate video on how to apply lashes. Now here's the fun easy part, it's the foundation and the highlight process. All I did was, you know, add her stick foundation to her face and her neck and then I added again the LA Girl Concealer to her under eye, her chin, her forehead and her cheeks so that her cheeks could be more slim.
and all you have to do now is just blend, 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 until you know you don't see the lines that you created, and yeah. And now one of my other favorite parts, I mean, I love all makeup, but highlight, who the hell does not like the highlight? Okay, so now I'm just gonna add highlight and then the next part I'm gonna be adding more highlight and the next part probably some more highlight But right here. I'm blending it all out and <laughs> more highlight as I said We went through a trial and error with this lipstick and lip liner But we took that off and added some lip gloss and now here. I'm gonna add some rose water to her face to set her face and I gave her a piece of paper towel to blot it off it's your mama look at that makeup like damn I did that. So one of the most difficult things of this night was doing Yasa's hair. I've never done Yasa's hair and this time doing Yasa's hair was <laughs> very difficult and very new. Before I even started her makeup, I had tried to straighten her hair with the flat iron and the hot comb and it still came out like this, but it's still looking cute, so it's whatever. And I added some curly hair to a ponytail in the back of her hair, so make her look bomb diggity dom. We tried. I just want to thank everybody for following me through my journey. So this is the final look, the cut crease I tried on Yasa. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then subscribe. If you didn't like it, then don't subscribe. I don't give a... And I hope you guys come back. Comment down below what you would like to see from me. And comment if you would like to see a collab with me and Yasa. So... I hope you have a blessed day and a beautiful day and an amazing day and goodbye. It's Joe Mama and I'm out.